Hello, and welcome to the GBC Productions YouTube channel. This is episode 19. In this video, I will be replacing a rheostat in a three-way switch setup. In this case, there are two switches. One is the dimmer, one's a regular on-off, and they both control a light. Here's the new switch that's going in. It has the regular toggle switch, and a dimmer slider right next to it. So the next thing I have to do is go turn the power off at the circuit breaker. So here at the breaker panel, I'm gonna turn off the circuit breaker, right there. Now back at the switch, I gotta take the switch plate off. and take the switch out of the box. And I'll verify that the power is off with a non-contact voltage tester this particular one I just picked up at the local home center. Even though the light is no longer on because the circuit breaker is turned off, there still could be live wires running through the box. It's always a good idea to double check. The two red wires in this case are the traveler wires that go over to the other switch. The black wire is either the power wire or the feed wire to the light. And of course, there's a ground wire, which I am disconnecting right here. The best way to successfully hook up a new three-way switch is just do one wire at a time. So that's exactly what I'm going to do here. I'll put a link in the description with some typical diagrams for a three-way switch setup. So now the two traveler wires are hooked up. I'm just going to hook up the feed wire. And the ground wire. With all those screws tight, I just push everything back into the box.
Now these screws don't need to be tightened down super tight. Just snug. If you go too tight, you can either break the box or you can crack the wallboard. and put the switch plate back on. Now I'm going to go turn the circuit breaker back on and give it a try. And on, off, it dims, everything works. Don't forget to subscribe for more, mash that like button, and comment below. Until next time, this is Uncle D from GBC Productions, signing off.